First off, I gotta say, I saw some of you guys dancing there, and you guys were absolutely killing it. You know yeah. what I mean? It's pretty awesome. You, even if you haven't seen the movie, if you've seen the trailer, they show a little bit of him dancing. You're a great dancer. You actually, that little scene where you're dancing, yeah. you're a good dancer. I used to be a, a pop locker when I was in elementary school. Were you? Yeah. It's actually one of the reasons why I didn't get an agent, because I auditioned and I had like a punk rock haircut, and I dressed like a little, you know, street dancer, and they rejected me. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I disagree with that because I met you, I think you were like 16 years old, and you had just done This Boy's Life, which, yeah. was, which was your first film, really. It was on Hollywood Boulevard, right? I yes, we were at an after party at like the Chinese theater or something. And, and I'm telling you, you were so, you told me, I just, I just was listening to you talk, and I thought, you are so special and charming, and then you told me you just finished that film, and I had never seen you in anything, but I just knew you were gonna be somebody because you were so charming. Then you did What's Eating Gilbert Grape, and he was amazing in that, and I feel like I discovered you. You feel like you discovered me? I, I claim stake on you. I think I'm responsible for your career. Well, I've... <laughs> I've always been a big fan of yours well, thank ever you. since I first met you. So thank, thank you. you very much. But really, you're, I mean, and this, this performance in this movie is, um, I, I really want to say it's your best performance I've ever seen. And you've oh, done some you. great movies. But in, in this movie, your performance is outstanding. And thank you're nominated you. for Golden Globe, well deserved. <laughs> I hosted the Oscars in 2007, and you were there in the front row. You were nominated for Blood Diamond. I'm, mm -hmm. not, um, I'm hosting again this year, and I, I pray I'm looking out there and seeing you in the audience for this, because you deserve to be there. You're and, very sweet. And, uh, uh, or, or just come anyway. <laughs> I might, yeah. I might. Yeah. Even, even if you don't get nominated as a seat filler, I just, just want to see I you there. I love those seat fillers. Yeah, just be there. And literally, as soon as you leave the bathroom, somebody just scoots in and goes, excuse yeah, me, and they just sit right, there. Sit right down. Yeah. All dressed up. And everything. All right, so tell everybody, this movie, uh, you produced it as well, right? Yes. So you took a long time to make it. Well, I, I'd been, I was fascinated by this book. I mean, Jordan Belfort uh, looks at this as a, as a cautionary tale. He, he's sort of reflecting on his wild, debaucherous, hedonistic days on Wall Street where he was you know, consumed by greed and excess. But he was so candid and honest about it, and I really wanted to put this up on screen because in a lot of ways, it felt like a reflection of, of the, the time that we were living in. I mean, really anything goes in this film. It is absolutely wild, and you know, Martin Scorsese and I decided to really pull no punches and really go for it. Yeah, it's, uh, but I can't believe that everything you see, and when you see this film, it's, first of all, it's so good, and, and you and Jonah Hill are great together, but the scene when you take uh, Qualudes and, and, and Qualudes. I, I'm from New Orleans. <laughs> we, we said Qualudes. Um, but I'm, ki I'm not kidding. I know what they're called. <laughs> I'm from New Orleans. Um, so Qualudes, so when you take the Qualudes, and, and you have to make your way down the steps to the car. It is, it is genius how you do that. Like, and, and how many takes did you have to do? God, we worked on that whole sequence for a week. We want, one of my favorite sequences in uh, Goodfellas is where Ray Liotta's like spinning, the, uh, mixing the marinara, he's doing drugs, he's got the helicopters circling around him, his, his nanny wants to take her hat and the cops are coming after him. We wanted to do kind of a film within a film. So, we really worked really hard on this Quaalude sequence where essentially Donnie has a botched money deal who's, who's played by, by Jonah Hill. And to apologize for that, he gives me these incredibly powerful Quaaludes. I simultaneously find out that my house is being bugged by the FBI and I gotta get back home to him because he's on the phone with Switzerland and it turns into this sort of insane sequence. And it was probably the most wild thing I've ever done in my entire life. Jonah Hill and I looked at each other and said, how are we allowed to do this? How are we allowed to get paid to do this for a living? It was just insane. It was, and, and, and just to take that much time to try to crawl downstairs and to try to open <laughs> a car door that opens up, mm -hmm. and for your foot to get caught on that door, every single, I mean, that just was hilarious. I appreciate that. I mean, I, I you know, it all resulted in this insane p sequence at the end where Jonah uh, decides to stuff ham into his mouth as well, and he crashes into a plate glass table, and we were doing the CPR sequence, 
And, you know, the big challenge that day, we had to do 70 takes because they couldn't get this ham to stick on my face. And they had to put KY jelly, and uh, there was literally a guy there behind this giant wig with a plastic spoon just flicking ham on my face <laughs> all day long as I'm doing this insane sequence. But it was, it was um, almost, it was one of the most surreal things I've ever done in, 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 in my entire career.